Hey, welcome back to Shaving with Fuzzy. I'm Fuzzy. Hi, y'all. On Thursday. And of course, since it's Thursday, we're going to do Williams Wednesday. Happens that way. I didn't get it done yesterday. We're going to do it today. Now, yes, I realize that the last couple of shaves have been two-sided thingies, and everybody's going to come unhinged about that. I made a comment about it the other day. But anyway, I uh, had to get those out of the way friend of mine gave them to me, so, you know, that's just how it is. So today it's back to two-sided uh, two sided avoidance thingies. All right, so we're going to do, uh, not only are we going to do uh, our Williams Wednesday on Thursday, we're going to do our Micromatic Monday also. So we're going to use the uh, Micromatic Clog Proof here. And uh, we're going to do that. So the big difference between the Clog Proof and the original Micromatic, which was open comb, is that the Clog Proof, of course, has got the comb there. And it's a uh, really neat little kind of unique thing on the guard bar. The treat, and I don't have one right in front of me, but the treat, the fat handled treat, yeah, I thought that was one laying right there, has a uh, similar guard bar. But anyway, this is the clock proof, uh, Jim. And it was, uh, you know, it came after the, let me find a blade up here. It came after the, uh, Original Micromatic, which, you know, you don't have to say Micromatic open comb. You just say Micromatic, and everybody knows what you're talking about because this is the clog proof. And then you had the flying wing or the guiding eye or some people call it the bullet tip because of the way the end was different. All right, just making sure everything's in there behind the old uh, blade stops there, and it looks to be. So we're going to go ahead and use the more modern Williams. Well, yeah, it's modern Williams. I mean, they're not making it anymore, but it's still modern. I think uh, it's 25 years before you can call it vintage, maybe. I don't know. I thought I read that somewhere. We're going to use our little old uh, Ladder Monster, little old bore brush. The uh, This one right here, get it dry. We're going to use that right there, what I used to call a line. That thing produces a line of ladder for a little brush, and then we're going to finish up with the good old clubman that I put into a glass bottle at one time. Now, Again, I will say, I did not put it into a glass bottle because I think there's a lot of different scent-wise from storing the plastic and storing it in the glass. I put it in glass because I like glass bottles on my countertop. So anyway, there you go. The way it goes. So we made it all the way to Thursday. Fuzzy goes back to uh, working nights on Saturday night. And uh, that's going back into the Shift supervisor slide out there. Full circle after all the drama. But anyway, that's okay. Like I said, if you don't try things, you'll never know. But anyway, so we start back on nights on Saturday, which is going to be really nice because I just, I much prefer to work nights and sleep days. I don't sleep good at nights. Even, even as long as I've been doing day shifts since I've been back over here, I still don't sleep real good at night. All right, we're going to work us up. Didn't do no blooming or nothing, just a damp brush. This little old bore brush here will work up some lather. Why well, I used to call it the lather monster. Probably still would call it the lather monster, but I use other brushes more often. One time I used this one a whole lot. I had this and I had the VDH bore. And I had a uh, Burma shave bore. And some stuff like that. Now I've got smog bores. I've got a uh, sterling bore brush that I used the other day, which is a bigger, a bigger bore. Nice brush, works well. I used some sterling soap the other day. I'm still a fan of sterling soaps. So there we go. We're gonna work us up some nice little paste on it. And that's what we're working for. We're not building the lather on top of the puck here. What I generally call a cake, it's soap. They call it a cake of soap. So I realize it looks like a hockey puck, but it is soap, so I call it a cake. But anyway, we're just looking to get us a good paste going. And from that, we're going to go right over here. We're going to face lather. Well, uh, it's been an interesting week. Nothing really happened. Just a routine, nice, interesting 
week, and I like that. I don't, I'm too old. I don't need the excitement. I go in to work. Boring night's a good night. And we all go about our business. I'm actually going over and working at a little site, a little short shift today. They uh, pay a little bit more because it's not a very long shift and we're just filling in temporary. Hopefully, though, hopefully it leads to the uh, company getting the account. We can make more money off of it. I'm always rooting for the company to make more money because they'll keep paying me. That's the theory anyway. All right, so the clock proof is a micromatic and it shaves like one. All you got to do is hold it pretty much flat on your face. And I get into this thing every time where I say, you know, you just hold it flat on your face the way Jim said and everything would be great. And you always got that somebody to come back and say, well, you need to run it just a little bit up. I, I, I do just a little bit up and I, mean, I can really tell the difference. And it's like, no, you can't. But anyway. Yes, I make that comparison every time. But that's something that absolutely drives me nuts. Just the people in the world who have to be just that little bit special from everybody else. The way everybody else does things ain't going to work for them. They're special. I read a lot of news articles. I, I don't watch a lot of TV news. and I mean, I'd love to read a newspaper, but you don't get much news out of a newspaper anymore. But anyway, so I get a lot of my news offline, and I love reading stories. and Some of the things people think is important. What's going on? Hey, East Baton Rouge Parish, let me tell you all this story. East Baton Rouge Parish made it to Fox News. Yes, Fuzzy reads Fox News. Now let me quantify that by saying I don't unquestionably believe anything any news source says out there. I get most of my world news from BBC News. I've said that before. But anyway, I read Fox News and then I balance it out by reading other stuff. But there was an article in the Fox News today. And uh, it came from right here in East Baton Rouge Parish, Louisiana. And the story starts off by saying that a Los Angeles news had said. Well, that's my first question. Is why is Los Angeles the source of news from East Baton Rouge Parish, Louisiana? I don't know. Well, the story is the guy and gal went out and got drunk. Around this part of the world, that's not as uncommon as you might think. There's parts around here where you ain't grown up till you got your first DWI. And don't think I'm being too harsh on the people around here. That's pretty much true. But anyway, they go out after a good night of partying and drinking and come in and pass out in bed. And she wakes up and the bed's wet. And she didn't do it. They ain't got no kids and ain't a dog around. So anyway, she kicks him out of bed. And I'm sure she literally kicked him out of bed. She grabbed a kitchen knife somewhere along the way and she ended up stabbing him on the left side of his torso and punctured a lung. Well, then she rendered medical aid and took him to the hospital. Of course, she's claiming that he, he was trying to choke her. I imagine if somebody's after me with a kitchen knife and I'm, you know, hung over and drunk, that, uh, yeah, that's, I'm probably gonna want to get a, uh, get a grab in or two there anyway. And let me tell you, <laughs> she, she's a looker, man. She's a looker. But anyhow, I had to make a comment on there about it. with all the stuff that goes on in this part of the world, this is what made it to Fox News. <laughs> Which some of the local trailer folks don't get me wrong don't get mad if you live in a house trailer I've lived in house trailers I would gladly live in house trailers again but the old stereotypical southern trailer trash comes to mind and I don't deal in, in, in stereotypes too often I really don't but if you saw the picture 
This little sweetheart, I'm telling you. But uh, anyway, I thought it funny that that's what makes the national news, cable news, is a story Los Angeles reported about East Baton Rouge Parish, which is where I live. I just got the biggest kick out of that. I'm sorry, I had to share that. There's a couple of morals to that story. And the first one has to do with your choice of uh, bedmates. And then your choice of uh, how much you drink. Now, you have a choice on how much you drink. Uh, there's folks all the time that drink too much and then they go and blame it on the bartender for over-serving them. And, and there are rules about that. And at a certain point, you are supposed to be cut off. This is very true. I, I've dealt with this in a uh, casino business, working casino surveys. I've actually had to go back for the entire time if somebody's at the casino and see how many drinks they were served. Watch as the bartender made them to see what was in them and then how many were sent out, how often they were sent out. I've actually had to do that. I mean, I get it. But, uh, you know, they're not forcing you to drink to start with. Anyway, look at there. How you like that? Clock proof. I like the clock proof just like I like the Micromatic. I think the original Micromatic to me is a little bit more fun of a razor. Uh, you definitely have to watch for it biting more on the original as you do on the clock proof. It's hard to get bit by clock proof. Also, if you can grow it a Micromatic, I shave it. Uh, pretty much. But anyway, so that's what we're doing today for our shave. We're back to our, uh, we did we and Wednesday on Thursday, did a Micromatic Monday on Thursday. Now it's time to jump in the old shower and start getting cleaned up. And we'll take the dogs out again before it gets time to go to work. You notice how easy it was cleaning up around the goatee. I, I don't mention it a whole lot, but, uh, well, Micromatic does such a good job cleaning up around that OT and just took care of all that. Old. Now, that was just a regular old day's day or so, maybe a little over a day's uh, growth. It was nothing spectacular. But uh, the old razor here, they'll handle that too. All right, well, y'all have a great day wherever you are. Whatever you're doing, hope it goes well for you. We'll get that old clock proof put back up out of the back where it was. So whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, happy shaves to you. Be careful who <laughs> you go to bed with and uh, don't drink so much that you end up, you know, wet in the bed. Don't do that. We'll holler at y'all later.